hello beautiful people as you can see i'm so excited to release this video and this is my fifth week of placement and compared to my fourth week of placement today i am so excited and we are going straight into this video if you're watching me for the first time my name is ada and i'm also known as the lego pepe so do well to hit the like subscribe and the bell notification did you just see that did you see that we have a new intro i want to share with you about my fifth week of placement is something i learned in placement and it's called vicarious trauma vicarious 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 i think it's vicarious trauma but well let's continue anyone it is <laughs> now um I learned about the carrot trauma and that is a trauma that happens to you because you have been exposed to someone else's trauma. Don't worry, I will explain to you. Now, you may see instances where maybe someone comes to meet you and gives you a traumatic experience and it's not your reality, it's their reality. But because you were exposed by conversation, by maybe trying to help the person, it started affecting you <laughs> mentally so that's called vicarious trauma and it's mostly prevalent amongst professionals like healthcare professionals psychologists psychiatrists mental health professionals because these people are closely exposed to people that have had a traumatic experience i learned it in my placement because my placement is a highly highly traumatic setting Ha. The things I have seen and heard in my placement, guys, guys, and I'll be like, wait, though, in this UK, one would think that maybe in a developed country like the UK, things like this will not be happening, but things are happening. And lots of the staff, including me, are prone to being precariously traumatized. So I learned about how to protect myself, how to help myself and support myself. Because sometimes in trying to help somebody, you will dig yourself in a deeper hole. I won't even lie. I was so prone to it affecting me. In fact, my last video on my placement, this whole anxiety thing, eh, I think some of it, like, let me say, 5%, or 10 or even 20 percent is because my head has been filled up with traumatic incidents and it's amazing to be on this side where you're helping people but you don't know when you are slowly drawn in and one way to help yourself as a professional is to be helped you could be helped through like clinical supervision where a counselor comes to talk to you or a therapist. You can help yourself by meditating, journaling, talking to friends and all of that good stuff. So personally, I have been trying my best to help myself and I think this week I've done an amazing job. I look forward to my sixth week of placement. If you love my placement series, please let me know. I want to see your comments. I want to see your likes, your shares. See me, I'm smiling. I hope you're smiling the way I'm smiling because on this channel, we are happy people, you know. <laughs> All right, guys, I'm going to see you very soon. And until then, stay blessed, stay happy. Take it a day at a time because problem you know the finish oh so try to enjoy <laughs> bye guys <laughs>